<laughs> Something has happened in Scotland and she's at the centre of it. Nicola Sturgeon isn't even standing in this election, but the Scottish National Party she leads looks set to sweep through Scotland and maybe hold the balance of power in the UK. So in that case, what does she say to voters south of the border who fear her first loyalty is to Scotland, not the whole country? Well, throughout this campaign, I've held out the hand of friendship to voters in other parts of the UK. The SNP stands for Scotland, and we will certainly make Scotland's voice heard in Westminster louder than it's been heard before. But isn't it more in your long-term interests, again, I'm talking about independence here, that Westminster system does not work? You, you should be going there with your, your aim to be to say, you know what, this system is not working, rather than to make it work. You know, I... I I will forgive the Westminster cynicism in that question, but my first priority every day in politics is to get the best deal for people in Scotland. And if Westminster is the system we remain part of, then actually it's in Scotland's interest that that system works better. Do you think what David Cameron's been saying over the last couple of weeks has weakened the union? I think David Cameron is flailing around in a campaign that you know has been desperate and failing. So I'll leave David Cameron to speak for himself. The Scottish edition of The Sun today backed her. The English version has backed the Conservatives. Pretty odd, isn't it, that The Sun south of the border is supporting the Conservatives, who you say you want to lock out of Downing Street? Well, I, I've said consistently and I'll continue to say I want to see the back of the Conservatives, uh, but I want to see them replaced with something better. Yeah. What do you think of your portrayal like uh, <laughs> Princess Leia? What do you reckon? Well, I, I, you know, what can I say? I'm, I'm not sure about the hairdo. There's no doubt at this election there is a strong tide running in favour of the SNP. But here, outside Edinburgh, in what has been Labour territory, not everyone's been swept away by the Sturgeon phenomenon. I really believe that the 55% that voted no are going to come out and show her that she's not getting her own way. Okay. I hope. <laughs> she wants to be Queen of Scotland. She doesn't want anything else. She wants to be in her sidekick, Alex Salmond. He would like to be King of Scotland. I can't explain it at all. The people I talk to, you know, I mean, they're not SNP, so I don't know where all this is coming from. I have no clue. So how does she find being the centre of all this attention, friendly and the not-so-friendly? It's not about me being in the public eye. This election's been about putting Scotland centre stage and... But it is partly about you yeah, as well. Course, You're part I'm, of it. I'm leader of the party, but for me, you know, the, the lesson and the message of this campaign is if Scotland can be so centre stage because the SNP is riding high in the polls, then imagine how much influence Scotland can have if we turn that poll rating into reality. But there's no doubt the party think she is a big part of the appeal. And for the SNP right now, it feels like the sky's the limit.